Hey everybody, my name is Katan, welcome back for a new series, boys. We're about to be playing Horizon Forbidden West. Horizon 2, I should say. The first game, I've never actually played the first game for you guys. Never actually played it at all. Uh, I don't know what it's all about. All I know, it's the it's an action RPG. Uh, the graphics seems nice. It seems like a cool game now. It's a, literally a 90 bucks game. This is the... It's literally, a, 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 I guess, a quadruple A or something like that. At this point, it's becoming that tier, boys. It's not even a triple A anymore. It's a quadruple A. So, I'm hoping that it's actually worth the money. Because 90 bucks for a game? You're absolutely crazy, man. And that's the regular price. Like, if you have to go... If you want to go higher for the Lux Edition, just imagine. Shit's crazy nowadays. Anyways, so we'll see. Well, let's hope that this game is any good. Uh, I'm playing these games that so that you guys don't have to pay 90 bucks for these if they're bad. Right? I'm there for you guys. Don't worry about it. So let's hope. Uh, I, I've heard some good news. Some good stuff about the first game. Not too sure how the second one is going to be. But uh, let's just jump right in and have a lot of fun, boys. Time spent in the pursuit of knowledge. One question consumed. a thousand years ago triggering the extinction of all life she showed me how it was reborn a little outcast girl ignorant of her own importance through her I learned that life was only saved through a technological miracle zero dawn terraforming system composed of nine subordinate functions each playing its part to reshape earth from a barren rock to a lush landscape tended and protected by the machines and with her I learned the deepest secret of them all She is a clone of Elizabeth Subek, Zero Dawn's creator, born to prevent a new extinction. Driven by Hades, a malevolent AI, given sentience by a mysterious signal of unknown origin. And with a little help from me, she prevailed in a great battle at the city of Meridian. Becoming a champion for all humankind. But as useful as she has been, now I must leave her behind. For as she strives to put right what Hades sundered, I have made a new discovery. One that heralds both destruction and opportunity. Alright, nice little uh, recap of the first game, I believe. So at least we got a nice little recap uh, for guys like me that never played this game. Guess it's good, now I know what, uh, what happened. We're gonna to go ahead and uh, do everything. So quest pass thing, what is that? Guided? What's that difference? So choose how you navigate through the world. Explore, explore the world with minimal guidance. A guided receives uh, markers on screen to help you reach your quest destination. Um, I actually want to be guided for the quest destination. I hate to actually not know where I'm going. I hate that. A waypoint pathfinding. So uh, this is kind of the same thing. If I want a waypoint, it's going to tell me where to go. I want everything to be guided, boys. I hate not being guided at all. Uh, you, uh, you, uh, HUD visibility, dynamic, sure. Weapon will slow down. Uh, normal, I guess. Auto uh, shield wing. So... Uh, choose whether you automatically deploy your chill, uh, shield wing when uh, falling. Available after shielding is unlocked. Let's put it on off for now. Gauntlet runs quick time events. Months follow road. Uh, sure. And uh, co-pilot. 
So turn this for a feature to use a second controller with mirrored controls. Really? That's kind of weird. All right, so um, show uh, show headpiece. Toggle uh, whether the headpiece is shown when wearing an outfit with a headpiece. Actually, off because headpiece tend to be kind of cringy, boys, when you uh, play those. So I'm not gonna do that. All right, I think the rest should be fine. Uh, subtitle size extra large, large. Uh, let's just put it on standard. And yeah, I think I believe that's fine. The music might bring it down a notch at 80% instead. And yeah, I, pre I think that's good, boys. of a terraforming system that's spiraling out of control. And only I can fix it. Only I have your genetic code. It won't be long before we hit the point of no return. And then... extinction. I've been searching for months for what I need. A backup of Gaia. The AI you designed to control the system. Same dream. I'm walking under a brilliant night sky through a field of flowers. And when I arrive at the center, I see you, Elizabeth, waiting for me. Even though you've been dead for a thousand years. You're the closest person I've ever had to a mother. And for a moment, I feel whole. left alone. This world is your legacy, Elizabeth. I won't let it slip away. The valley below is my only remaining lead. My last hope to find the backup. I'll do whatever it takes to get it. I promise. Varl? <laughs> if it isn't Aloy, the savior of Meridian, anointed of the Nora. You know I hate being called that stuff. Well... Consider it a punishment for running out on us the very same night we beat Hades. I grew up an outcast. Remember, I'm not much for parties. Yeah. But that one was in your honor. Just saying. 
So, what are we doing? Must be urgent since you left so fast. Delving into ancient ruins? Or maybe it has something to do with the blight. Both, actually, but, um, I should... Oh, no. I've been dragging you a long way. It's okay. After everything you've done to help Lenora and my family, I swore an oath to help you, no matter what. But you're stuck with me now. Like bark on wood. Okay, but if you're going to come with me, I'll need to be able to see what I see. <sighs> A focus. Never thought I'd get your second sight. I'll give you another one later and show you how to back up your data. Data? Information on the device. We've got a lot to cover. Um, I'll have to explain everything as we go. You see like this all the time? Since I was a little girl. Come on. Shall we? <laughs> All right, I got a couple of scrapes on the way here. We should find some medicinal plants, stock up. So it's time for your first lesson with the focus. Sounds good. Let's get started. But well, alright, let's start playing boys. So we got a brand new partner right off the bat. We got a, like a companion or something. The game literally gives us a companion right off the bat. So since I know it's an action RPG, I imagine most of the things are going to be the same. Alright, so gather your materials and whatnot. Like most games really. Uh, tap to heal up. So you can heal up your health. How am I in a half, hour, a half bar of health right now? What happened to me? Did I literally kill, uh, try to kill myself during the cinematic or something? What was that all about? Alright, well, let's keep going. Oh, whoa, whoa, now. Okay, so I gotta jump like this. There we go. Get everything. I'm gonna get every single one of the ingredients I can get. If I can get them, I'll get those for sure. So, yeah, I like this better uh, when they actually show me what to get. Now, I don't want uh, too much things on my screen. There's only so much you want to have on your screen, right? But... Uh, there we go. So this is perfect as it is. If they're showing me where to go exactly, I'm fine with this. Okay, look at all this, boys. This game looks beautiful, by the way. I don't know if it's going to render the same on the uh, actual capture card, but it does look beautiful on my screen. So, like yeah, pretty uh, pretty nice game. Where do we go? Are we just going to go? Oh, we continue to go that way? Do I need to jump down every time? Am I... Uh, like, uh, do I need to uh, wait it out? Oh, what is this? Got some supply crates. Uh, I'm just going to take everything. I don't know if there's a maximum you can take or maximum loot. That was kind of iffy right there. You saw what happened to my body? My character? Kind of weird, boys. Alright, let's jump. There is something weird in the cinematics as well that I just... Uh, I did see. Uh, uh, the guy's face was kind of weird, boys. Kind of uh, weird motions that the g developers uh, like made up or something. I just uh, show. I just um, discovered how to sprint as well. Gill marks, whatever that means. We're about to have a fight or something, boys. I think I'm gonna enjoy this game. For now, it looks beautiful. I don't know how good it's gonna be. It should be good. I mean, a 90 bucks game. At some point should be good, right? But uh, we're about to find out, I guess, if it's going to be any good or whatever. What let me uh, let me just gather all these materials really quick. I got to get those. I have a feeling I'm going to need a lot of them. All right, there we go. Let's go, uh, go in, boys. So what is that? 
Some sort of corruption. Oh, it's uh, okay. Examine. It's a carcass. Okay. Someone took down this machine recently. Who else would come? I don't know. We better craft some arrows of our own. There might be trouble ahead. Good thing we already picked up some ridgewood. Okay, so if you do that, because right. the game hasn't shown me, but I'm pressing a bunch of buttons, and if I do that, I can nearly see what's going on. So I can know I know who is who, who what's what, and who's who. I guess so it's like my tactical view, or whatever. Interesting. A uh, weapon wheel. Okay, got you. So that's the weapon wheel, and I only have a hunter hunter bow right now, which I'm gonna be absolutely or horrible. But I can craft some uh, some arrows, so, which I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get craft the maximum amount. What do I need to do that? Need some materials. I'm not too sure what these materials are. We'll, we'll find out eventually, I guess. Nothing a well placed arrow can't knock free. Just have to target the lock. But I can't jump. Okay, so there's no parkour in this game. No parkour in this game, boys. So just gotta That's bring it. that down. All right, here we go. After you. I thought there was going to be parkour and everything, but I guess not. I'm so used to have every single game that I play have that ability and stuff, but I guess not in this one. There's an animal right here. Examine the corpse. Poisoning plants. It's killing animals too. Find an ancient roots, uh, ancient uh, entrance for the ancient roots. Okay. Look at that. That's a car. Literally a car. I like that. Like it's. It's really very much apocalyptic, but it's kind of beautiful at the same time. Like the you saw, you see nature taking its roots back and everything. It's kind of nice. But well, we gotta. Uh, I I think I'm gotta go through there. I mean, it's a clear path. Let's, we might as well just follow the road, right? Seems like the right area. Machines have it on alert. How do you want to handle it? The focus can help us. We can scan the machine before okay. we make our move. Okay. Okay, so let me see what he did. Uh, what is that? So, new entry added. Strong, so he's weak against fire. So, uh, scroll to the machines and whatnot. Bower, what does that mean? Bower, weak spot, hot eye. So, the eye is the weak spot. Got you. Okay. I'm ready. okay so I'm uh, guessing there's a, a weak spot in here. Check to activate. So slow time while aiming increase your accuracy. I don't know if there we go. So the 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 uh, health. The, it looks like the the uh, the the eye is a problem right here. Let me uh, just get the eye. Oh my my aim, boys. I don't think range is gonna be for me, boys. It never was just get everything but yeah that was pretty bad that was a pretty bad attempt at me from trying to attack him and stuff yeah pretty bad now i do have i guess this guy is my companion whatever let me uh, see him quick oh shit! watch out now boom all right there we go oh shit! all right i got him i got him good 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 all right so we managed to get him i'm gonna get everything that uh, he's got uh, i'm gonna loot everything yeah, okay, so kind of. that was interesting, boys. I was kind of for a minute scared that uh, I was gonna so fail miserably and stuff. I'm gonna have to heal myself big time. Said? It gives you back a lot of health every time you heal yourself. Okay, it almost it literally brings you back to entire health. Do I want to go that route? I don't think I do. I think there's nothing down there, so let's just go up, I guess. That was a definitely an interesting uh, solution, uh, an interesting way of uh, uh, delivering the first fight for me. That's I uh, was not doing too good, that's for sure. Am I supposed to go through here? I found my first one when I fell into a ruin. Got the others from an old cache not long ago. It's good to have extras. I don't know who she's talking to, but the guy doesn't seem to be with us anymore, so. Yeah, he he's not, doesn't seem to be following us at all. We can see the um, the bar of XP on the top right. So my the level I'm at. Tap to sprint. Yes, I know how to sprint game. I already know that. All right, so do I have to fight? Am I gonna have to fight more do more people or whatever? Or I guess not. 
I know they made looks like the there's a merchant the right here. It looks like a merchant. Why would they Can I interact with it? I guess not. Register with reception for the tour. I guess they want us to check in with them. Okay. What uh, what is this? Uh, ancient value box. We got some stuff we can probably sell later, or maybe it's some uh, items that I can equip or something. Not too sure. Let me see really quick. Is there okay? So if I press the button, the middle of the button, of course, skills. So hunter, trapper, warrior. These are all the skills: survivor, infiltrator, and machine master. A uh, warrior would be my uh, the, the one I would pick the most. I feel. Okay, so that's about it. There's nothing. There's no. It's an action RPG, but I guess it's just leveling up. There's no actual items or whatever. It's not like a, an MMO or whatever. Obviously, it's not an MMO. There's, it's only solo, but you know what I mean, boys. There's not uh, anything particular. Uh, it's not next level so RPG. Let me pick everything right here. Examine uh, all this. Whoever left us here might have also shot those machines we found earlier. So where are they now? So you're telling me there's more people around this place? Real people? Oh, what's We're about to find out, I guess. There's... Entire might be, right? Why oh, look at this. They must have come here to build for scrap. Acid. That explains the smell. And it looks like something big came in from above. Crashed right through the camp. And then through the wall. I don't like the sound of that, boys. That the fact that they all died like that. That doesn't sound like a good thing right there. Is there anything I can loot? Oh, what out? Watch out, watch out. Yeah, those, I don't think there's anything I can loot right here. So we'll just keep moving for now. Oops, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, here we go. So am I supposed to go examine the rubble? Okay. Is there a path we can take? An alternate path or something? If I can dislodge some of the debris, we might be able to squeeze through. Dislodge some of it? Maybe I can find something to help in the camp. Okay. Over here. I think I got something. What do you have? It's some kind of Osram prototype, I think. Oh, new gadget. Okay, I got you. Already they're going to give me a new gadget, boys. Game's moving pretty quickly right away. It looks broken, but maybe we can repair it. Hook it to the debris. And pull it out. That could work. The focus can help us search the camp and identify anything we can use to fix the tool. My focus picked up a couple of things to check out. All right, let's go check out these things, boys. There's a bunch of loot for us. Examine the rock sack. Is there anything for me in there? Okay, let's see. Let's find out how to craft stuff. So the first thing, pole caster, an improved version of Delver's prototype tool that can latch onto and pull objects. Also enables grappling to specific points. Got you. And I can also... Okay, so that's... How do you build up your stuff, I guess? I guess I'll craft it up. There we go. So we've got that thing right now. We've got the pull caster. Got you. There. Uh, pull caster. For now to test it on the debris. All right. So we don't have anything else that I can really craft, right? So pull caster is a versatile tool that allows you to manipulate objects. Got you. So how do I do that exactly? How do I pull the, uh, the pull caster? Is there a way for me to actually... Do I need to go there and uh, equip it somehow? Or... Oh, okay, got you. So you switch it off like that. Okay, got you. Okay. So you uh, you do that. Alright. Oh, okay, you gotta hold it. So you gotta hold it, basically. Got you. So the entire time... Uh, she does it for me. Automatically does it for me, boys. I basically... Oh, hold on. Tap it. There we go. I basically got to just simply hold it and stuff. Interesting. That's all I have to do. Just hold it down. That works better than I thought. All right, then. Easy enough. Well, it doesn't look like there's an easy way out of here. I should scan the area. We have to find a way to keep going. So I don't know what these circle thingies are. Use your focus to learn more about your surrounding and solve puzzles. Focus uh, area. Focus mode. Yes. 
Uh, activate the console? What is that? So what happens if I activate the console, I guess? to introduce you to Far Zenith. Forget what you think you know about us. Our truth is simple. We say reach for the stars, even if you have to cross 8.6 light years of space to get there. Please proceed into the auditorium where we'll unveil our plans. Okay. So they add hologram before dying, I guess. They had a hologram, but they couldn't figure out the whole car problem. Of course, that's humans for you, man. They never figure out the goddamn car problems. Where are we gonna get flying cars at? Any luck? At some point, boys, Not right? Yet. Instead of goddamn it's doing holographic shit. Maybe they could focus on the cars. Oh, okay, you double tap. Okay, got you. That works. So you have to double tap in order to, uh, to make it work. Interesting. Can I interact Don't with worry. this? I'll find you another way up. Find you another way up? What do you mean? Can I tap this? I don't think I can tap this. It doesn't seem like it, boys. Okay. Okay, so I gotta go upstairs right here. I gotta go up right here. Um, so there's a point right here that I can go. There we go. Just like that. So you literally just double tap. There is a little bit of element of parkour after all. I didn't think there was gonna be, but uh, I guess there is. Okay, so all I gotta do is just jump and never mind. I just fell down like an idiot That was great. That was definitely a great uh, great move by my part boys. Just fall down like an idiot All right, let's try let's go back up again. Not mess this up this time around let's Go go up right here. All right, go 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 Just gotta find a way to jump there. I guess properly and Just jump down Jumps down kind of weird. Now, how do I make it there then? Is there a way for me to go up or do I simply sprint? I don't think I'm supposed to sprint, right? Yeah, no, I don't think I'm supposed to sprint. Let me actually figure that shit out. I know I can get through there. This is a point that I can jump. Literally, okay, so I could make it. I just didn't have to double jump. I tried to double jump last time and uh, okay. it didn't work. Lower the ladder. How do I do that? Shooting okay, so I just... Not it's not working? How do I do that then? Uh, do I just jump down? I guess I just... Uh, I just go down or something? Okay, got you. Hold on. Lower the ladder. Just with my feet, I guess, or whatever? There you go, I knew it. Thanks. Didn't have to shoot it. Why do I feel like I had... Why did, did I think that I had to shoot everything, boys? That's me, I guess. Gotta shoot every, uh, my way through everything. Humans. Homo sapiens. Us. We have always pushed the boundary as explorers, pioneers, trailblazers. And now Far Zenith is taking the next leap into the future. That's why we're proud to have resurrected the Odyssey. When our government's abandoned in orbit, Far Zenith will actualize in less than a decade. But that's only the beginning. When the ship is complete, we will send the Odyssey and her crew where no one's gone before. The serious system. There will create humanity's first off world colony. The Odyssey may take three hundred years to reach it, but when we look up at the night sky, we'll know they're on their way. And in the words of our founder, the late Peter Chimbumbe, the true storm of immortality is data corrupt. The playback stopped. How convenient, boys. Old ones could fly through the sky? Between the stars? Uh, well, yes. Sort of. That ship, the Odyssey, it, it never made it to the other star. 
something went wrong, and it blew up. Is that why Elizabeth gave them a backup of Gaia? For a colony? Error. Public presentation file corrupted. Member recruitment file available. Do you wish to reactivate? Yeah, reactivate. Let's see what else they had to say. We all know the projections. Economic instability, new biocontagions, rampant AIs. How long before another catastrophe creates unacceptable risk for the world's elite? We here at Farazinath believe, escape the inevitable, and so we reach for the stars. Now you've seen what we're building here. Infrastructure to support the Odyssey's construction. A state-of-the-art data center to facilitate rapid technological advancements. And you've seen how we're managing public perception. So invest. And join us. Claim your birth on the Odyssey. Preserve your way of life beyond the concerns of Earth. Well, they were right about the world ending. They just didn't know how. Yet. So everything they said back there about the next step for humanity, it was all a lie. These people only cared about saving their own skin. Yeah, well... Didn't work out for them in the end. That Oswald guy mentioned a data center. Or is there something wrong about this guy? I'm telling you. It's kind of weird. He's like a guy that they just pulled off out of nowhere. It's like a new player. He's literally acting like a new player. It's as if I was literally in the game. It's as if I was Varl right now. It's like he's literally asking every question possible as if he wasn't even part of this world. It's kind of weird. It really is weird the way the character is written, uh, written boys, right now. Uh, uh, Varl's guy, uh, character. Like he's literally written down like uh, as if he wasn't even part of the world. That's kind of sure seems like it. it's it's kind of messed up. They kind of like made him wrong right here. Stars. Like you you interact, he's your first companion or whatever, is the first guy you interact with, and he's asking all sorts of stupid questions. It's kind of uh, uh, it's very strange, boys. Not gonna lie. To right, let's break this shit up, boys. Right now, break it up. All right, my girl. There we go. Good job. Because it seems like we uh, like. Our main character, Alloy, knows what she's doing and she, like, she's basically doing a bunch of exposition to Varl right now. That's all she is doing. It's just exposition over and over again. It's kind of weird me, uh, weirding me out, boys, for a 90 bucks game. Just doing a bunch of exposition to a, a character that, in Varl, that doesn't seem too good right now. I hope it's get be it gets better, it gets better, but right now the story is kind of, uh, kind of strange right now. Like I get it, I know the story. I, I get the story, but you don't need okay. to expose me to every uh, every five seconds to to it, you know. Especially with a, a guy like Varl, who seems like he's not even a character that's alive, like a, a natural character from the game. Boom! All right, here we go. So just a silent kill. They want me to go full Assassin's Creed on his ass, which is kind of weird. I hate that, boys. I don't like that stealth. I don't. I hate stealth. Why do I have to go stealth on their on their ass? Like, doesn't make sense to me. All right, let's let's just keep moving, I guess. My dog's starting to act up, so I'm gonna have to end my video soon, anyways. Uh, I don't wanna have to hear him on my goddamn recording session, so we'll just go ahead and end the video soon, as soon as I get everything, every resources. So, okay, so yeah, we're gonna end it right here. Hopefully, the game gets better as time goes by, and we're gonna have to deal with this guy. We're gonna have to deal with this guy, boys. Okay, there we go. Oh, what the fuck was that? Okay, that's enough. That's enough, buddy. There we go. Just kill him off. 
Just like that. Just doing some melee on him. And we're just gonna do that. There we go. Whoa, you don't. I'm getting jumped right now. I wanna end the video. I'm getting jumped by these fuckers. Okay. Alright. Getting jumped by these fuckers, boys. That's great. There we go. Got him in the eye. And I gotta get him right here. There we go. Perfect. Now, I don't have any ammo yet uh, left. But I did go ahead and kill them all. So good. Uh, I'm actually gonna need to... Yeah, craft some arrows. Let's craft some. And I'm gonna literally loot everything off their bodies, boys. There's another thing right here. Loot everything that you see, guys. Alright, so everything's good now. We got everything. Uh, remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.